Hey guys, what's up? It's me. This is Ruby Volume 8, which is still weird to say, Chapter 3. Uh, it's called Strings. I, got no strings. I don't appreciate that. I really don't. I really, I really don't appreciate it. This, this was another instance of the second I saw the title, I got really anxious. <laughs> because, of course, of, you know, it's not like the last time. Oh, I'm way, my mic is way too close. Because, like, it's not like the last time where, you know, the character who's, you know, Pinocchio, it's not like last time where she just, you know, got torn apart by her own strings. But also, every time I see it, my brain instantly plays, like, the Age of Ultron Avengers trailer from, like, 2013. It's the, I got no strings to hold me down, but, like, the creepy version of it. And great, because that's the last thing that we need right now. Uh, I don't imagine we're going to be singing, seeing the, the Yang gang, the gang, um, since they did kind of leave us with a cliffhanger that time. Uh, so we're probably going to be checking in on Ruby, seeing how Weiss is doing post inner tube. Maybe we'll see what's going on with Watts. Let's just... Let's just go into it. Also, I'm sorry if my camera keeps shifting between videos. I have to adjust it for my Zoom class. And then I have always have to like try to figure out what position it was in last time. So, oops. Let's just, you know what? Let's, let's do it. It's great, it's fine. Backing up again, because I'm loud. <laughs> Gotta back up further, because <laughs> I'm still loud. We said goodbye to all the things we love. Gave up our lives just to find that it was not enough. This faith, our solitude, our carefree peace. Each the world was just a childish dream. We failed to stop our own dim- My cat's here, which is why I'm- Hope has no place here Maybe the path that leads- Oh! Strings! Right! So people talk about Penny getting hacked in the intro and I can see where they got that idea and considering the name of this episode the fact that Watts was just taken out of jail I'm very worried and she's probably gonna get hacked and I'm not about that I don't appreciate it, it makes me nervous <laughs> gets hacked it's gonna start this episode watch it let her start glitching or something the hiccups return i don't know that sounds like shipping boxes You're looking at a prime customer everybody Fluffy. All right, Robo Girl, you're up. Which way? Don't be rude. Yeah. Meow. My cat now wants more pets. We'll cross the bridge, then go left, straight, right, straight, left, up, up, right, straight, right, right, straight, left, left. She's so cute. And her name is Penny. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I like. I know that she can do that, but it's still weird to see. It's a very large bubble. Well, I can't think of what's going on up there. They can't get close to that storm without getting shocked right out of the air. It's creepy. All those rooms are waiting. Worse than if they'd attacked. Hey, don't say that. Don't jinx that. I just hope the CEO can get us some answers soon, or... <laughs> huh? Like, I can't blame her. I do... Go, go, gadget, finger tool. I do appreciate that she did that, though, because that's a very nice tie-in to Volume 2. 
of, or volume, yeah, volume all two right. of just somebody pushed all the buttons on the, the elevator. It wasn't right me. Oh God. Of course. I can't maneuver us through all that. Do not worry. Ruby is capable of traveling at an extreme velocity. Oh God. From one point to another by breaking herself down to her molecular components, thus negating her mass and then reassembling them at the destination, theoretically making it possible for her to transport all of us in the same way, as mass no longer matters. I, uh, what? You can use your semblance on all of us. Did Penny just figure that out before you did? Like, she knew you were a faunus before I did. delay. <laughs> Today has been... Ruby do really do be like, look, I'm stupid. I <laughs> oh, fucking. I have to try motivating you. Again. Given what we're after, I've got all the motivation. Sadly, it doesn't make taking down Pietro's magical science project any less cumbersome. Oh, I trust you can come up with something. What the oh, fuck, dude? Trust is palpable. <laughs> Speaking of the man, are you aware that dear Dr. Polandina is gallivanting around your military compound? Unless, of course, someone else is using his credentials. A security threat has been detected in the compound. Status alert level three. Red. Lockdown initiated. Red. Mission granted to handle any threat with lethal force. You've got to be joking. The Do don't y'all still need to be quiet? Trapped. We passed a hangar. I can hijack an airship and get us off this floating rock. Wait. We can still succeed. We are so close. Hmm. I love their little bubble. I also think it's f funny that it's so much dud. Rip. Ah! Read the sign, Bill. Read the sign. <laughs> Don't you ever just pay attention? You're in here late all the time. Your coworkers. <laughs> he put salmon in the microwave. Did she? Another thing I don't want to do. Ever again. Sailor Ruby! Penny is so in love with her! See, I was expecting May to have to make them invisible while that happened. Stand back, please. The general butter not be in there or about to show up. That's not ominous at all. I hate automatic lights. I really do. Where is everyone? This is a highly classified area. Or a trap. She can channel lightning, it's fine. She's so cute, little Scoot. Hey, Dad. I'm ready. Aww. Is he gonna hack over her? Huh? <coughs> this process is a little complicated. So I'm remoting in the penny from Amity Coliseum. I see. I'm curious what changed about her palms. It's good to know that there's the pupil change that we'll be able to detect later. It's just that gif from Lucy where she's just <laughs> Blake! <laughs> the others are okay. I've never seen Yang and Ruby fight like this. Uh. Don't worry. Mm. They're sisters. Sometimes sisters just have very different ideas about what's right. Yeah, they'll be fine. Jean's a great leader. Oscar's grown a ton, and Yang is more than capable of protecting them all in the fight. Hmm. <laughs> and of course, Ren is. Um. I don't know what he is. Every time I think the two of us are making progress, he. We've been together our whole lives, but I feel like I understand him less now than ever. And I don't know if that's his fault or mine. Both. When you've been at someone's side for so long, after a while they become a part of you. But that's just it. They're only a part of you. Don't forget about the rest. I don't actually know who I am. <laughs> oh. Without Ren. Baby. <laughs> Pretty sad, huh? Well, maybe 
take this opportunity to find out. Do something only Nora can do. Like what? Be strong and hit stuff? Mm. Baby girl. I uh, just have to. There. Downloading the cloned imprint now. When Penny gets to Amity, we'll run the log sequence. Amity's computer will try to connect to the General's terminal. But get Penny instead. And after the launch, I'll return to help you all with the evacuation. <laughs> uh, about that, Penny. When Amity goes up, I think you should be ordered with uh, Maria and I. But they need me here. Right? Well... If you stay far out of Salem's reach, then she can't open the vault. She can't get to the relic. So... Maybe it is for the best. Um... We should probably head to the hangar. <laughs> Blake really do be like, can we have this conversation later? We all have to do some things... We would rather not. Oh boy. Oh, there's... Oh shit. Ah, oh, shit. Come home now, Penny. So your first time losing to us wasn't enough? So this was the murder trailer. We were holding back. We have all said some things we regret, but please, hear me out. I know you thought you were doing the right thing when you left with the Maiden Power, but Salem is here now. Things have changed. If General Ironwood plans to leave Mantle behind, nothing has changed. <sighs> I thought you were supposed to protect the people, not hurt them. What the fuck, never dude? Hurt anyone. Well, Winter's in critical condition because of you. And you repaid her by stealing the power that she That's not her was. fault! But taking the maiden power was the only way to If you keep refusing to do the right thing, people in Atlas and Mantle are going to die. You could stop all of this, Penny. Just open the vault, hand over the relic, and you'll save Atlas. But it won't save Atlas. Salem will find her way to the relic no matter where She's on a flying whale, like opens the vault. The relic is as one good as more word. And I'm throwing you in jail right next to your uncle. Runt. Leave her alone. Penny really do be what like do insult me all you want. Yeah. Fuck you. She's gotten very good at this very quickly. <laughs> Get <laughs> poor Marrow. Yo, props to who people who haven't whoever animated this shot, because animating resistance and weight can be tricky. Well played. Hail. <laughs> hey, Ruby and Nora did that same attack. Okay, here's a question. Is punching Penny like punching steel? Cause ow. Nora. One? Cowards. But Penny's the Winter Maiden. I'm sure she can hold her own for a little bit. Ah! <laughs> Penny, you can fly! Oh, this... You don't need your strings anymore, hun. You have literal magical powers. Right, she can fly. <laughs> I don't know why I gasped, she can fly. Stay. Gently yoink. We Surprised to get out they didn't do that earlier. Come on, Nora. And hit stuff. Nora, wait! Ah! 
Yo! She's going Super Saiyan! Hurry up, Elm! I can't! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit! Are those gonna stay? Damn it! That was our chance. I need all available squads to converge on. Wait. I have a message for your operatives. But General, we we understand, sir. <laughs> now they gotta let them win without making them think that they're letting them win. Oof, rip Ruby's arm. Okay, but for someone who's only ever carried one other person, she's gotten very good at that. <laughs> oh, they only need one. Oh, it's so... That was very suspicious. Nora. Still charged. You coming or what? <laughs> we can't see you. All ready to She's in bad shape. We need to get her somewhere safe. <laughs> Punch. It's time for me to go. No! Isn't it? We'll see each other again really soon. I promise. It's not gonna be that easy. She's gonna show up again. She's gonna... Mm, that's so soft! They're so soft, I'm gonna cry! <laughs> Good work would have been capturing Penny. Shut up. Well, you know what they say. If you can't beat them, then make them join you. Oh, Justin did this one. The stealth music. Yeah, so that's his arm. F in the chat for everyone having to draw a lot of mecha this volume. <laughs> Ruby! I love my daughter. I love her so much. She's so good. The 2D sequence. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, okay. Um can we appreciate that Penny figured out? <sighs> I love Blake just being a little shit. I love it so much. It really makes me happy. I love that Penny just figured out Ruby's semblance before she did. <laughs> like, she prepares this whole fucking- I realize that- okay, I understand that this was just for, like, demonstrating, but she- she really did just make, like, a PowerPoint presentation <laughs> about how Ruby's semblance would work. <laughs> just- oh my- and he just figure that out before you did? Like, she knew you were a faunus before I did. <laughs> just, of course, that's the only comeback her 
really, like, that was not a conversation I expected them to have, but I'm really glad that they had it, because it's really just peak, just, like, Blake just trying to it, just like, did, did she really? I think it's partially because for as much as Ruby is a capable leader, I feel like we definitely didn't see a whole lot of Team Ruby fucking with her, because she is two years younger than them. Like, they all started at Beacon when they were 17, and she's 15. So, like, there there is the inherent giving them shit, like, the, the, the what's this, an eight-year-old kind of energy that I feel like we didn't really see a lot of with them, and I'm so glad that we're seeing a little bit of that, because it makes me really happy. It's just... Okay, okay, I need to take off my headphones so I stop sounding echoey in my own head. Okay. Oh boy, alright, so I'm gonna mute this so I can scroll through it. I don't like that. It really is just like someone nominated James Ironwood for the Nickelodeon Choice Awards and they just covered him in slime because he's just a gross man, a gross sleazy slime man now. And they don't like the fact that they have a part of Penny and that because everything works as a whole and those things usually kind of all move within a sequence, they'll likely be able to tap in that way if she gets the sword back or through other means, which just isn't great at all. I fucking hate. I love how big this bubble is, though. Like, if you just trace around the outside, like, I know it's to allow for the camera, but if you think about it, that is a huge fucking bubble. It is a miracle that no one walked into it. <sighs> I really want them to sell this. Can we- can we just get- Can we get an F in the chat for Bill, please? Also, that's steaming hot. This guy has, like, s easily has first degree burns all over his crotch. Which, like, that's rough, buddy. I'm so- I would have fucking loved to be one of the VAs for this because that- Can you imagine this is the- And they take this opportunity! They're just like, why can't you fucking read the sign? Why can't you do this shit? And why can't you do this? And you microwave salmon! Like, this is the embodiment of what everyone with anxiety feel- Like, social anxiety- Whoever- Whoever did this? Whoever did this? I need to know. Who- Who did this? Whoever animated this, please, I need to know who you were. I need to give you a hug or something because I'm so- She's so proud of herself. She's so proud of herself. I love this stupid bitch so much. This tiny redhead is ruining my life. She's just so cute. And oh, I wish I could frame through. Just- uh, aggressive clicking. Just, they made it so appropriately- I know, it's you, right? They made it so appropriately snappy. And her little pants, she's just- And you know, no one's there, so she is just posing for herself. And Penny's so happy, she's like, oh man, that's so cool! Like, Penny and Nora both are just- Like, Weiss has that kind of, like- Weiss is just full of pride. Like, that, that is the, yeah, that's, that's my partner. Yeah, that's my partner. And it's so good. Well, no, poor Blake is literally just like, I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. Like, she always lands on her feet, but I don't think she wanted to this time. <laughs> and then even Nora, Nora is just like, that was a blast and a half. And then Penny, because keep in mind, like, Nora has been moved by Ruby beforehand, because they did a team attack back in Volume 4. So she has turned into, like, the little cape ball. And, but Penny, like, Ruby used her semblance with her, but because it was to counteract momentum and she wasn't used to using another person, she didn't even, like, transform into a bunch of petals and capes. She just kind of held her, and it was like she had trouble stopping, and she couldn't really control it. Now she just brought four other people and stuck the landing. Like, Queen and wife material. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna be emo. Well, one, I'm- it's... From an- I understand why they did the- did the eye thing. Cause on one hand, it's like, see, Pietro can remote access her. It's a thing. But it's also like... Hey. You see this detail change? Keep this in mind for later. Cause we're gonna see it later, but it's not gonna be in a fun context. No, it ain't. Sure isn't gonna. 
I want to see what it was with her palms. I don't know if that was something that happened during Volume 7, or if it was always kind of there. Let's see if she raises her palms at any point. Sorry for scrubbing like this. Because it almost looks like they're scuffed. Yeah, see? Like, or th were they just scuffed up? Oh yeah, that's from, that's from the cold, right? That's terrifying. <laughs> that is actually really terrifying. I love Ruby being kind of alarmed, just like, uh, what the fuck? Okay, but this is... I need to come back to this bit to talk about emotions. But I just thought of a meme, and this is just... This ex this is just the meme where it's it's just that wait so you're not it's like so you're non biny you don't have any biny yeah sure I guess that's so poggers <laughs> like that face is just <laughs> that's so poggers <laughs> okay let's let's get Blake just spinning idly in a chair is not something I thought that I needed but is something that I needed and she's just. She's concerned about her friends, and <laughs> Weiss is just like, oh, you know, siblings fight all the time. I've w Winter totally tried to like, <laughs> totally tried to kill me earlier. No, Ooh. I feel like I need to move Nora farther down on my coping list. <laughs> and just the knowing look that she got is just peak, and I'm really glad that we're getting some Nora development. And how they're talking about, it's like, yeah, like, he's literally always been a part of me. And I'm really glad that it, that it was Blake who had the line. It was like, yeah, they become a part of you. But don't lose the rest of it. And, oh, poor Nora. She really needs therapy. And she's kind of getting it here, which I, which is good. But I'm glad she's kind of having this realization. But I feel so bad for her because she thinks that her only value to her, like, her friends is just being strong and hitting stuff. And it's like, no, honey, sweetie. You are so much more than that. Please, please value yourself. That that little self-deprecating, <laughs> like, oh, baby girl, no. I realize that that's like this entire episode is me just going, baby girl, no, but it's true. <sighs> like, I also like how they change the movements. It's really smart. Like, she, she really just does not know how to define herself without Ren. And like, it makes sense because they literally always had each other. But it's like, you are so much more than just those two things. Please believe in yourself, Nora. Please. Oh, it, it makes me sad. It makes me very sad. I'm still not over Ruby's new look. I still love it so much. It's still just so aesthetically pleasing. Also, I love that you can always count that they changed. I don't know what it is. The thing about Penny's mouth just feels different than the others. And I don't know if it's the thing about how it's always posed. But it always kind of feels like she has her lower lip out a little bit more. Like she's always kind of like a... Like her mouth is kind of pursed or it's smaller. And it's a really nice kind of choice there that they do. And so this was the trailer thing where they show up and everyone kind of... And it was like, oh yeah, these they all look like they're down for murder. Then Penny's just like, I don't think I'm old enough to be here. Okay, the bullshit that Harriet is saying is just so manipulative. It's so manipulative. Just like, oh, Winter's in critical condition because of you. I'm fucking- She's in critical condition because of Cinder. She's in critical condition because Cinder was being a brat and a bitch. That was not Penny's fault. Penny took the Winter Maiden's power because Winter couldn't get there because she would have died. And because there literally was no one else there. Like, she took it because there was no one else there and she was the only one capable. What, like... I do love that Penny very much is like, you can talk as much shit about me as you like. You can blame all this shit. And like, she, she's just grinning it and burying it. She's really just, she's really just taking it. And then the second he calls, like, the second that they start bringing Ruby into it, the very second, Penny's just like, oh, I thought that you might be right. But now you have to die. It, she's literally just, I've only known Ruby for a year and a half, but if anything happened to her, I'd kill everyone in this room and then myself. Like, that is Penny Polandina, and I... I I'm so glad. Like, I know I was skeptical when she first came back if she was gonna be, like, truly her. 
and I, and I like upon retrospect, I think that's definitely a case of I kept trying to fuck up for like if a better word the story and like definitely make it a little bit edgier when intrinsically Ruby is so much a story about trusting in each other and trusting in love and friendship and camaraderie and found family and kind of that whole hope against all which is super valid and really needed right now and just big anime vibes in general so I think I definitely kind of fell into that pit pitfall in that area oh god oh god I know this is definitely falling into that same pit hole probably but like so Penny went and said goodbye and went up was gonna go up with Amity with them so like she's gonna come back and they're not gonna expect her and be like, oh, Penny, what are you gonna do here? And Penny's gonna start attacking and then Ruby's gonna be like, wait, no, it isn't her. Like, look at her eyes and this time they will be able to, like, pin it on her more so than with Tyrion if there is a PR issue afterwards, but I don't think there's even gonna be much relations, let alone of the public kind with Atlas after. And, okay, I'm, I'm gonna be basic and I'm gonna be really soft here. Because I am a sucker for the trope where person A goes on, like, an emotional rampage with their powers and person B knows that they're the only person who can snap them out of it and approaches slowly no matter the danger and, like, through compassion and softness, like, gets them out of it. If that happens with Ruby and Penny, I will cry. I will cry and I will love it because it's perfect. I can also see her dad doing it, but I feel like he would die in the process. He, I don't know, Pietro just has death flags for me. I know people are just having a lot of death flags for Renanora, and I can kind of see where, those, where they're getting that idea, but I don't think so. This may be a weird thing to say, but I feel like Team Juniper got their allotted death. <laughs> um, but I'm also by, oh, oh, right, okay, okay. Okay, so these bitches aside, can we just appreciate how quickly she figured out how to use the maiden powers? Like, I know volume three was a while ago, and like, maybe the maiden powers hadn't been fully devved then. But she really is just putting what the fall maiden Amber did with Cinder. She's putting that to shame. Like, Cinder only uses really one element. She only really uses fire. But Amber was using like, wind and lightning and ice. And Penny is using a singular element, and despite the fact that she's only using one, she's doing a very good job, and considering she's only had these powers for a fucking day, I love that she just clotheslines Harriet. Like, honestly, Penny's strongest suit is not fighting multiple opponents like this. Like, we see her fight against four back in the Vital Festival, but I think since her attention is split between like doing her swords and the rest of her combat in addition to maiden powers that might be part of it i also think part of it is she doesn't want to attack these people but i do enjoy this combo move i like that it's a variation of one that ruby and nora did like i think what's really interesting about elm and harriet is that they're in many ways a a more militaristic, darker reflection of... It's like everyone on the Aesops was more or less a... all a distorted reflection of members of Team Ruby, I think. And at, le at least with those two, or members of, like, the main seven, eight. And it was really interesting. I do think it's funny that Weiss is just like, yeah, surely my giant sword will, will hit it. Okay. Nora just used herself as a battery pack, honey. No, okay. I I want to talk about this. I want to talk about this. Oh, that look like I'm not a huge fan of the Super Saiyan hair thing. That's just me. I didn't watch Dragon Ball growing up. That's probably why. Um, I like I like that they did. I think it's a cool nod. I fucking love that they gave her the lightning scar, and I wonder how long that they've been, like, planning that. And I want them to release, like, a turnaround for it. And it's like it fucking goes up with her temples! That's metal as hell! That is metal as hell! And, okay, okay. If it, like, lights up every time she uses lightning like her eyes kinda do, that would also be metal as hell. She would also- the endless jokes about Nora just being a glow stick would increase. But, 
it looks so cool and you know you know that this is gonna ha the, the, okay i realize i'm just talking about soft shippy shit this episode i'm aware of that but look it's the winter season it's all about drinking hot tea and wearing big sweaters and thinking about soft pairings i am a sucker for soft pairings and i feel like renora is as like uncontroversial as you can get in ruby <laughs> like there, there's that video where it was like what your favorite ruby ship says about you and like there's renora it's like you are a fan of keeping things canon and keeping things wholesome and here we are like just the sheer softness of like well one there's gonna be like the inherent guilt of like we fucking fight and she does this amazing thing which like i'm so proud of her she's so strong and so powerful but also like she got hurt and like this partially happened because like i wasn't here to protect her and of which she's like shut the fuck up like no i i did this i chose this this is my thing but also the inherently soft intrinsically gentle shit of kissing your partner scars is the shit i live for in this house <laughs> i feel like i'm just like airing all of my fluff favorite things ever so i apologize <laughs> but like I feel like my friend Soul just lost her fucking marbles when she went Super Saiyan. Like, I want someone to overlay this with the Dragon Ball music. Oh, just Nora. But the thing is, is that they said that Volume 8 takes place entirely over one or two days, right? If she's still not doing hot, her, her pupils are blown out. Nora just smoked so much weed. But, like, if her... If she's still not doing hot, any time lost is a problem. Like, any time. So if she's down and out for a while, that's gonna be a problem. It does leave the opportunity for her to swoop in and help later. But I hate Watts. Haven't mentioned that. He's a slimy skis ball. And also now, um, I think it was Jake Walker's tweet about updating the tier list. And just having Bill at the very bottom was great. Okay, but you know that if like it's safe, to do conventions again in 2021 like if, if that's a thing that we're allowed to do if it's safe if people can stay healthy if there's not as much of a problem like i'm not i'm hoping for the worst i'm <sighs> correction i'm preparing for the worst and hoping for the best there we go not not the other way around um but you know that like rtx 2021 or whatever there's gonna be so many fucking bill costs <laughs> And I'm so glad, because it's what it's what he deserves. Sort of, I guess. Honey, your thighs. I love that. Can we just appreciate that Penny knew Ruby better than Ruby? And since Ruby now knows that she can do that, she is now able to move more people without even like blinking. Like it didn't even take that big of a toll on her aura and on her like on her stockpile of it. Cause like she moved four people. Or five people? She moved four people. And then moved another two later. Like... It's very impressive. Ooh. I feel like that might be significant later as well. But we're to see... I realize I still talk about this. and that We've had these outfits for a volume, but really just after working on making rubies and still making it, like... The more I see them, the more I love them. Like, I pretty much loved them from the start. But, like, especially Blake's has really grown on me. Um... Ruby's just continues to make me screech demonically because I love it. It's perfect. It's so good. Someone like there's been a tier list going around of everyone's like ranking favorite volume looks, and I think this might be my number one for um, Ruby. Honestly, honestly, maybe Nora even too. But like, look at Penny's little face. Like, you see what I mean about her always- like, this is partially the acting beat. Okay, so hugs are hard to animate, because it's very hard to have to animate two people interacting without a ridiculous amount of clipping, and they're hard. They're, like, you know that it's hard, because even back in the ye olde days of The Incredibles, they talked about how hard it was to have Mr. and Mrs. Incredible kissed, because it's hard to animate two characters interacting. So, like, keep that in mind as we get this thing. Like, for- for- I don't see a lot of these people anymore, and maybe it's because I just, like, am too busy to really see them around. But, like, okay, her little- her little adjusting her hands and little emotions, and Penny's little pout and her hair being pushed back out of the way, and the knowing look of those two just going, just like, oh, Like, th they know. They- they know. 
they they know baby girl but like when even fucking like granted this was a while ago but like fucking the fact that it's this extended hug from two different camera angles so or three technically so like it has to be able to adjust between them and tweaking the poses but like getting both characters to gently move that like idle subtle movement like whoever did that thank you I wanna- I need to check Twitter and see what- who animated what, but like, I have homework and I'm busy, so I don't know if I can't- I don't- mm. Harriet's just going straight Asuka Langley, Bakugo complex, and it's not gonna end well. I f fuck you. Fuck you. Ironwood, the second you considered working with Watts, you should have taken it as a red like a red flag. The very second, like- uh, Oh my god, you can see like my other monitor, that's cursed. Like, the very second that he considered- I know he's like, oh, by any means necessary, and I know his semblance, but that doesn't mean I'm happy about it. Ugh, I just... Every single episode, I get closer and closer to wanting to punch man in the face. And I already wanted to punch him in the face, we're just- mm. Is my taco here? Oh yeah, taco is here. Sorry, my cat is being- cute all the time um yes yeah, that would cut nora i imagine we're gonna get a similar moment to nora with ren although i imagine that will be a little later and i have a feeling it'll be more explosive because i feel like in the case that nora is very loud and energetic and she's just a lot and then in these moments when she's alone and in these moments of doubt Whenever she is troubled by something or confronted with something, if you watch her body language and how she's animated, she always retreats inward. She always kind of, she always immediately like dampers down, like curls up, immediately takes up as little space as possible. And I feel like Ren is going to be the opposite of that. I feel like because he is the way he is, he so much is calm and collected. And I feel like we're already starting to see it. Like when he gets more emotions than he normally is used to dealing with, he kind of explodes. It happened back in Volume 4 with, with everything involving Kiro Yuri, and we're seeing it happen again. And so I think instead of kind of Nora's quiet, I really don't know who I am without him. Like, I don't know who I am without Ren. Like, what, what do I do to just be strong and hit stuff? Like, instead of that kind of quiet curling up and self-doubt, I think instead he's gonna kind of explode outwards. And, because we've already kind of seen, seen him lash at John a little bit more now, but I feel like, especially with Oscar, that's just going to build and have a big moment. I don't think it'll be the next episode, it'll probably be a couple more, but it might honestly take him seeing what happened with Nora to push him over the edge or something. But I'm excited for when it happens, and I would like to formally apologize for so much of this episode just being me going, that's so soft, that's so because I know, like, I know not everyone likes certain relationships in Ruby, and like, for the most part, people can do whatever they want. Like, I definitely draw the line on some things, but like, it's just, it's wholesome. It's just, I like soft, and it was soft, and it's just wholesome. I feel like this was the dose of happy that we're gonna get before everything goes to shit. I, I feel like th this was... This was the pinch before the, before the shot. Like, th this was a nice little, have a little a happy moment as a treat. And then while they're giving us the treat, they're gonna stab us in the back with some emotion. And I'm not, not ready for it. I'm not, I'm not ready for it. I'm not excited. I mean, I'm excited, but I'm afraid. And I'm gonna, I'm talking in circles, so I'm just gonna, bye. <laughs>